Hi, and welcome to this holiday oracle reading. It's actually December 24th, and I've been inspired to do an oracle reading. So we're going to get into that in a moment. I haven't chosen any of the cards yet, but I feel like the, at least the energies that I'm picking up on are the energy of really stepping into and expressing your own creativity, your own unique self, like truly reconnecting and taking care of yourself first above all other things and allowing what really wants to express through you, whatever, however that creativity might unfold for you, but really putting yourself, your energy, the essence of you out into the world. Um, I've been doing that through painting lately and I've got other ideas that keep coming to me actually in my meditations of things to produce and to put out there that will be, for me, it's always has to do with inspiration. So there are going to be inspirational pieces of art. Anyway, let's see what the reading holds. Maybe so far what I've said is already kind of um, pulling you in because you've been feeling that urge to express yourself possibly in a whole different way. I mean, it's really kind of been the message of the whole year. But I think now as we're winding down and moving into 2020, it really comes down to you being you, your unique self, and expressing that in a creative way. So stick around. Let's see what the cards tell us. If you're new to my channel, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and an awakening coach, life coach, law of attraction coach, manifesting coach, transformation coach. <laughs> all of that all balled into one thing where basically I help you to love your life. And that's my website, lovemylife.coach. So we're going to get into this reading um, and see what comes up. What's in, what's in store for us in the cards? So I'm thinking I'm going to, I'm going to pick one of these cards first. This is the Sonia Choquette's Divine Oracle, Energy Oracle deck. And um, let's see if these cards are going to speak to the creativity that I was mentioning in the beginning of this um, video, or if it's something totally different. And I also want to mention that I always put these videos onto um, my Love My Life Coach podcast for those of those people who would rather be listening while they're driving and not have um, YouTube up. So let's pick this first card, see what we get. Okay, have faith. All right, so have faith. Now immediately what comes to my mind um, is just to have faith and trust that everything is actually working out as exactly as it's meant to be, right? So some of you might be going through some tough times even during this end of the year holiday season this whole year whatever i know i've been going through a bunch a bunch of stuff um and really that have faith message um trusting that the universe has got your back that you have guides and angels in spirit um, family members in spirit friends that can assist you right so it's kind of like having faith stepping out of this mind that thinks it knows all the answers and just trusting having faith knowing that everything always works out for me somehow some way things work out even if it fe doesn't feel like that at the moment it's kind of like looking past you know we spend too much time acknowledging what's going wrong and that's what keeps us there stuck there looking at what's going wrong what if we just change our focus to you know what or ask the universe question how is this going to work out in my favor? What can be done about this to turn it around to start for me to start seeing how everything works out for me? I'm finding more and more that if you just ask questions of the universe and just put them out there, that the universe can answer without you putting the brakes on what wants to come. Because when we have these preconceived ideas or even the subconscious programming, which is what I work to clear with my clients all the time, that stuff gets in the way because we you know we're only limited to how much we think we can actually turn things around if we can just sit back trust and allow this inspiration to come in creative ideas will come and then they'll feel right like you'll feel something click within your body 
or you just feel lighter in some way like wow okay I never even thought of that but yeah I'm gonna do that you know whatever it was that dropped in right having faith that the universe the answers will come if you just step out of the way so I don't know I'm reaching for the trust your vibes so let's see we're talking about having faith let's see what trust your vibes wants us to know and I, I pulled a lot of decks but I might not choose from every one because I really kind of want this to be a short video um, and what do we get okay back to basics ah well you know immediately the way I'm taking that is yeah back to basics back to being you your truth who you are who you came here to be before all that outside stuff started getting in the way like this almost it's even the it's even the group think and the mass consciousness that might dictate to you ways of being that aren't truly you right how many times are we just buying what everybody else says right or you have this great idea and you tell someone they're like you can't do that who's to say I can't do that right so if you have that going on because that's what's coming through ask yourself the question you don't have to be rude or anything let them say what they want to say no judgment right because judgment just pulls you back and keeps you away from that creative flow you just be like yeah okay what do I let me if I were to trust my vibes what are my vibes telling me this idea came this is something I want to do um, it lit me up when I when I had this thought come in or this message of some sort or just this idea pop in but then someone else puts a damper on it no let all those voices fall away it's time to be your truth right it says back to basics go back to basics back to who you know you are before you let other people tell you who you are right it's really what it all comes down to you know I, uh, yeah it's what it all comes down to that's why I like the work I'm doing now with access consciousness and access bars because it's really just letting go of that old stuff you know asking questions of the universe allowing new stuff to come in clearing those things that have that we've agreed to that allow us to put the brakes on our own greatness um, okay let's go to the energy oracle and you know maybe this will be the last deck maybe not we'll see I'll do it whatever I'm guided to whatever spirits telling me I'm just gonna follow that flow listen to the inspiration as it comes in grab the deck that wants to be looked at all right the spirit will get the messages to us in whatever <laughs> whatever way they want that's why you feel drawn to a certain thing right because you have this team behind you that's saying no 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 don't go that way no 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 yes go this way go this way go this way okay what do we get uh 37 third chakra archangel Samuel I'm actually going to read this one from the book. Okay. All right. So it says this powerful angel, Shamuel, is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus, which is the location of your third chakra and in the center of your life force energy. It is the center of your life force energy. The issues here resolve around emotions of desire and your own personal energy when this card appears upright it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon will be on its way this is a great time to move towards the completion of your desires your life force is vibrating with power and resonance and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused purposeful manner this angel of power is with you now so go for it okay there's that's telling you you know what's right for you go with the inspiration that comes you have the power and the ability to bring these ideas these thoughts these creations into your reality into your life and you know what the more you follow those things that inspire you and be of that energy it's not just for you it's for everybody because we're all connected right everything is one so as more of us trust in ourselves um, allow the creativity to be expressed without having any outside voices limit you or put the brakes on you yeah that third chakra your center of will your center of, a center of power and manifestation can easily easily guide you to have everything you want 
come to you with ease. Okay, uh, one more. Let's go for the Enchanted Map. It's a Colette Baron Reed um, deck. Uh, let's see what this one wants to tell us. So, yeah, so far, I think those cards are perfect. We could just end this right here because I don't know if this next card is going to take us in another direction. But, yeah, time to express yourself. Be that creative you. Be the you you came here to be. Be that, you know, we always want to go back to the magic and the childlike wonder because at those times when we were that young, there was no way we couldn't do what we wanted to do. Our imagination would totally lead the way. Okay, this one is 20. Flying. Oh, interesting. You know what? I, I, I don't know this card. So let's see. Number 20, flying. It feels like it's going to be good. And it was upright. Um, not that it matters. Sometimes the upside down cards are the perfect message. But I trust all messages are perfect, upright, or in the reverse. But we got flying upright and it says you have the power to see things from a higher perspective so if you were a bird flying high in the air what would you see when you soar above life's challenges and opportunities a new perspective becomes available of course that's what we were talking about right it's like getting out of that group think and returning to you so like looking down at you and trusting and having faith that you know that this inspiration that comes through can only be right or it wouldn't come right okay so today you have invisible wings wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose oh i love it so for all of those and me included who have been going through some kind of a struggle let's just go with that let's just, like take these wings let ourselves fly allowing those solutions to come and just carrying that wave, allowing that flow, the inspiration to lead us to the perfect outcome for us. This is a sign that your waiting is over. All of your hard work has paid off and the things that you hoped for are no longer beyond your scope. Perfect, perfect. It says you have the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. Spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. Okay, this reading is done. <laughs> That's what it's all about. It's all about owning yourself, being that creative, inspired soul that you are, expressing your truth in whatever way feels right for you. You always want to feel what feels true for me. And if someone else wants to, they don't do it intentionally, but if something outside of you wants to rain on your parade, squash your ideas, make you think you're not good enough, you can't do it, it's too hard, it can never be done, it's already been done, whatever those voices are, which are all subconscious programs um, that we've been, we've allowed ourselves to, to pull into our energy since we were, you know, eight, nine, ten and up. <laughs> Because earlier than that, nothing could stop us. I mean, we, we knew who we were. So let's return to that creative person who uh, makes things work out, right? With ease. Like, let's, let's, uh, let's go at everything now from a place of joy. Good vibes only. <laughs> I just said that to my son earlier. I'm like, good vibes only. If you see me coming out of good vibes, remind me in case I don't see it for myself because I'm just gonna return right back to good vibes only. There are so many ways you can bring your energy back up. Um, I've done a course on some of those things. I would give out a freebie on that. Uh, you could probably look below. There'll be a link to something like that. I have subconscious mind meditation down there. So I mean, there's so many things, you know, so many people creating videos to inspire you. Just allow yourself to be drawn to what's right for you and let yourself go. Do it, be it, express it. And uh, yeah, what a great way to end out a year and um, go forward to our 2020. I'll do a new year reading um, right before the new year. But for right now, enjoy the holidays. Um, I love you all. Thank you for stopping at my channel, for watching this video. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, comment. I'd love to hear your comments. Or maybe even, let's put it out into the universe. Write into the comments below what it is you're inspired to do. What, if, if, 
If there was nothing stopping you, nothing in your way, what would you do? How would you create? What would you create? Put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I'll see you in another video. Bye.